I'm not your everyday athlete. I don't skip workouts or let myself get off track because of a late meeting, last minute project, or long flight. I work hard, play hard, every damn day. I'm Dan Lorenzo. So the beginning of fitness and really athletics in my life, you know, I was a, I was a high school athlete. I played baseball, I played a little bit of football uh, in high school. Um, after high school, like any kid, I went to college. I guess my second year, what for most people will be a sophomore year of college, I was in flight school, going A to B, A to B all day long, 15 hours, you know, sometimes either in a classroom and then planes, et cetera. You can imagine you're not really eating that healthy. Uh, after flight school, look in the mirror. I wasn't overweight necessarily. Uh, I was probably weight-wise almost where I am now. Uh, but, you know, obviously the percentages were a lot different. And I just started working out, hitting the gym. For a few years then, I was an on-call pilot. Uh, I started out flight instructing and then turned into uh, flying small charter aircraft, turboprops, small business jets, that kind of stuff. 24-7, you have to be available at any point in time. Your phone can ring and you've got two hours to get to the airport and go fly someplace. So you can't go out drinking with your buddies. You can't really go to the beach or something for the day with your friends. You know, so really I fell in love with the gym. That was kind of like my place of relaxation, so to speak, or my place can go kind of turn the world off a little bit. Turn to bodybuilding.com to learn what the best workouts were, uh, what the best supplements were to take. And that's really, I think, where I, you know, where I got, got started. Fitness industry, and specifically the sports nutrition dietary supplement industry, it's really changed a lot in the past few years. A few years ago, really, I think what you're seeing are these kind of crazy new ingredients coming to the surface. It's, you know, uh, this brand came out with this extract, and this brand has the concentrate of a, you know, a walrus tusk only found in Antarctica on sunny days, and this is what it's going to do. Well, I don't think that people are buying into that anymore. And I think that that's really what we've seen across the industry, where innovation doesn't mean uh, a crazy ingredient that may or may not do anything. Innovation has a lot of different forms and a lot of different names. You know, at Cellucor, the approach that my team and I take is a very mainstream, I think, uh, approach and a very consumer-driven approach to how we build products and how we put all this together. You know, I think that there's easy ways to innovate, which is packaging, where I think we're, we're doing a lot of great things there. I think we've really uh, led the charge and led the game, uh, even on consistent branding. I think you see a lot of brands now, a few years ago, maybe didn't look so great. You know, I'd like to say starting with us, but I don't need all the credit, but I, a lot of brands now are really raising the game. You see a lot of great looking products on the shelf, now, a lot of great looking brands, and that's just better for everybody. On the flavor side, huge you know gains made across the industry on what everyone's doing with flavors. On the formula side of things, you know, I think it's a really interesting kind of combination hybrid approach where it's not that crazy extract no one's heard of, but it's a combination of dosing ingredients and in efficacious doses. It's a combination of doing clinicals to, to show that. It's a combination of you know working closely with R and D teams, with great ingredient provide you know vendors to say, hey, this is the new stuff coming out of the market, and and really trying to get there first. But I don't think most customers even know about those things. I think they appreciate them, and the customers who are looking for the science, they can definitely appreciate that. But what people are really going to focus on is that hybrid approach, that package approach, where the packaging's on point, the flavors are amazing, and the results and the science are there. I think you need all three, not just one. I think that's really been the big change and the evolution that I've noticed in the industry. It's a good thing. The customers are the ones that win. I actually root for other companies uh, to kind of come out with a superior product or something we're doing. Why? Because what's that going to make me do? What, the pressure that that's going to put on my, me and my team is to then re-innovate, re-engineer to raise the bar again. And then they're going to do the same thing and we're going to do the same. And at the end of the day, the customers win. At my core, I'm a huge fan. I think that's the most important thing and what I'd hope any Cellucor fan, any just supplement fan in general knows that, you know, the guys behind Cellucor, you know, we live this, we breathe for this. And I always joke and say, you know, we're selfish. When people ask me, hey, are the products good? Yeah, they're good because we make them for ourselves, number one. We're all users, we're all hitting the gym as well. Um, and we want the best for our own selves and our own bodies and we want the best results for us and that definitely translates into everything we do. You know, we're able to kind of go out there and, and set trends. I think that that's a good, that's a really good word for, you know, now the way the industry's gone and I think where the industry's come from, where it's going. We, we believe in training to achieve the best performance and thereby you're going to achieve your best body. 
um, and really just dictate and, and deliver the information and the tools to do that. Bodyone.com, I, I view you guys the exact same way. Uh, you guys have done probably better than anyone, um, any media uh, really source or publisher uh, I, that I can think of at remaining unbiased as far as delivering everything from your, here's your CrossFit workout to here's your powerlifting workout, here's your more old school competitor focused diet plans to here's if it fits your macros and you know great recipes you know with uh, protein powders and, and, and you name it. And I think hopefully some of our peers in the industry are doing the same where it's you know telling a fan or telling a customer, hey, look, here's all the information. Make the best decision for what fits your lifestyle, your training goals, your physique goals. Um, and I think that that's, that's really what, our, what we can achieve together. Life's too short to not practice what you preach. I think so many people in this industry, or in a lot of industries, they, they think that they need to be a certain way, look a certain way, act a certain way, and I think they miss out. Yeah, I want to look as good as I can look. My goals over the years have changed. You know, I tell people all the time, I just say, look, I'm, I'm not an athlete. You know, I'm not a competitor. Uh, if I decide to compete or do any of that stuff one day again, yeah, I've done one show so far. It's just because I wanted to or I thought it was fun or maybe I had a buddy getting on stage and I wanted to kind of egg him on or something. The last time I think I filmed with bodybuilding.com was Super HD abs, right? And I wanted to kind of have the best abs, and this is how you do it. You know, well, I've had to manage my goals now that I simply want maybe, let's say, the best abs for a guy who flies 200,000 miles a year, right? So it's, it's definitely changed a little bit. And I think I want people to, to kind of see that and see, you know, hey, you can work hard and play hard and still look great. You can go out and have fun and still have a, a great body. You can, you know, work hard and have a lot of fun, frankly. Sure, I think the best way to get me is probably uh, on Twitter or Instagram. It's my last name, Lorenzo D-A-P. Uh, also, my body space, I try to check it as much as possible. I believe I'm still Cellucor Dan on body space. As far as getting in touch with Cellucor, getting more information on workout plans, etc. obviously, of course, uh, bodybuilding.com uh, is a great resource for all the content that we're doing. Uh, myself, our other athletes, you know, Craig Caperso, uh, Karina, Jen, Callum, we're all contributing pretty much everything we know from a diet and training standpoint and putting up, up on bodybuilding.com just to help people try and get their, their best results.